when I was at Bernathan College, something really, really life-changing happened to me when a religious, a religion teacher in the first week of, or the first month of Bernathan College decided to give us all a, a, a pretty long story lecture about his experiences with exorcisms. Um, I have to laugh about it now because this was truly one of the most terrifying <laughs> parts of my life. I don't know how to explain it other than like, if anyone has seen the, you know, the recent <laughs> season of um, Stranger Things with like the way you know, people who are being possessed by this demon entity and they're kind of like floating in the air and their bones are cracking and their blood's coming out of their eyes and stuff. I was literally um, thinking that, that this kind of stuff was going to happen to me. This is the mental state I was in because I had been in Bernathan for a year and I had my defenses down because I wanted to fit in and I had a religion teacher saying these things and I didn't know what was real anymore. <laughs> he, it's very confusing for people to be talking about um, ghosts and exorcisms in a college campus setting and in a class setting where they're teaching us you know, I have one class where I'm learning about, you know, English, and then the next class I'm learning about um, my professor who, or, you know, he wasn't a professor really, this minister who's telling me about all of the exorcisms that he, he was part of, um, and I believed him. I didn't know what to do with that information, and so I started really spiraling privately. I didn't really want to... I didn't know I was embarrassed and I was afraid. I didn't know how to explain to people that... Um, actually, I also didn't know myself that I have OCD and I didn't know that at the time. Um, but I have a lot of intrusive thoughts and I was starting to really realize or believe that they were demonic um, energies around me, um, I thought I must, you know, be more sensitive to demons or something than other people, but I didn't really want to talk about it because what people really liked about me in Bernathan was they thought that I was really chill <laughs> and I wanted to maintain that because I was like, oh, they like me. Um, so I didn't exactly want to share that I was battling, I don't even like that term. I got that from Renathan, this idea that you have to battle <laughs> your thoughts or you have to battle mental illness. That's not how it works. Anyway, um, I really started spiraling out of control. I really didn't know it was real anymore. I never felt safe to be alone. I was terrified that I was going to start being thrown around rooms by demons because I had a lot of evidence that they might be around me because I have intrusive thoughts. <laughs> um, if you research OCD, you realize, okay, <laughs> humans have a bunch of different types of thoughts. People with OCD also have some random thoughts, but they start obsessing about where they're coming from. And I was under the belief now, I was like, oh, it's all starting to make sense. All these, all these thoughts are from demons around me. Um, and I'm just waiting for something terrible to happen now. And the solution they gave me was to pray more, to read the Bible more. And so that's what I started doing. I write about this in my journal. So basically, I was stuck in a situation where I had no escape and I didn't have any solution other than more of the religion that was harming me. Um, I don't think it was appropriate for the professor, for any teacher at any school to be 
teaching about exorcisms like this. I think it's really inappropriate. I think it's really dangerous. I think it's very confusing to young people who might be living on their own for the first time and people who really want to get along. Um, college is a vulnerable time, especially freshmen. I was, you know, living on my own for the first time, even though it barely counts because, you know, Bernathan Athens has so many rules. They didn't really let me to let me have that much space. But <clears throat> I I hope that this this religion teacher isn't telling me stories anymore. Um, I want to tell him that you really harmed me deeply. I almost ended my life because of this. It was so terrifying to me. Please understand that mental health does have evidence-based treatment. Mental illnesses have evidence-based treatment that don't have to do with religion. Um, I just want to make sure people don't die. Religion is very powerful. I need people in Bernathan to understand that. It's basically the idea that any of the things that people say can be legitimized by this idea of religion. And this idea that I was going to be possessed or haunted or thrown around a room by demons and I was waiting for it to happen. That was a very terrifying. And it's no wonder I would want to escape that situation. And the new church has some beliefs, it says it on their website, that some people can only get to heaven through suicide. The beliefs of the new church, I believe, not only can create a mental health uh, crisis because of the beliefs that are so disgusting, but then also they worsen the mental health crisis by giving you the worst advice possible. I just don't understand why more people aren't talking about this. It's very, very dangerous. This is serious. This is deadly. This is life and death. This is not a joke. This is very, very, very serious. All these issues are interconnected. This is called abuse of power. This is called being complicit in systems of abuse. And I'm not kidding around. I am here to tell you that. And I almost wasn't. So I just wish that some people um, would take it more seriously. Thank you.